Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 2023 Incarnation Daily Devotion. I'm Pastor CJ. May God's peace be with you, and may the Word of God work in you today. August 7, Monday. Genesis chapter 37, verses 12 through 28. Now his brothers went to pasture their father's flock near Shechem. And Israel said to Joseph, Are not your brothers pasturing the flock at Shechem? Come, I will send you to them. He answered, Here I am. So he said to him, Go now, see if it is well with your brothers and with the flock, and bring word back to me. So he sent him from the valley of Hebron. He came to Shechem. And a man found him wandering in the fields. The man asked him, What are you seeking? I am seeking my brothers, he said. Tell me, please, where they are pasturing the flock. The man said, They have gone away, for I heard them say, Let us go to Dothan. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them in Dothan. They saw him from a distance, and before he came near to them, they conspired to kill him. They said to one another, Here comes this dreamer. Come now, let us kill him and throw him into one of these pits. Then we shall say that a wild animal has devoured him, and we shall see what will become of his dreams. But when Reuben heard it, he delivered him out of their hands, saying, Let us not take his life. Reuben said to them, Shed no blood. Threw him into this pit here in the wilderness, but laid no hand on him, that he might rescue him out of their hand and restore him to his father. So when Joseph came to his brothers, they stripped him of his robe and long robe with sleeves that he wore. And they took him and threw him into a pit. The pit was empty. There was no water in it. Then they sat down to eat, and looking up, they saw a caravan of Ishmaelites coming from Gilead, with their camels carrying gum, balm, and resin on their way to carry it down to Egypt. Then Judah said to his brothers, What profit is it if we kill our brother and conceal his blood? Come, let us sell him to the Ishmaelites, and not lay our hands on him, for he is our brother, our own flesh. And his brothers agreed. When some Midianite traders passed by, they drew Joseph up, lifting him out of the pit, and sold him to the Ishmaelites for twenty pieces of silver. And they took Joseph to Egypt. Amen. Holding a beloved position in one's family can come at a hefty price, and the upside does not automatically outweigh the downside. Today's passage introduces the account of Jacob and his family. However, the immediate narrative focuses that Joseph's father loves him the most, and consequently his brothers are jealous of and hate Joseph. So they sell him into slavery and tell their father he is dead. Growing up with older siblings, I witnessed countless teenage squabbles. There is nothing unusual about siblings being unkind to one another from time to time, nor is it uncommon for younger children to be pretentious tattletales like Joseph. Indeed, I was one. The rivalries and jealousy and bad behavior are relatable, but the extreme actions are not. Thankfully, it is unthinkable from my experience for the pettiness to rise to such a level of hatred or violence seen in Genesis 37. And it is hard to believe that Joseph could not restrain himself just a bit and stop needling his brothers, but he could not. This story of misconduct is a tragic example of the worst that can happen to a family when people are made to feel unloved and jealousy goes unchecked. 
It is a stunning picture of the potential for unimaginable evil in the face of so much imaginative good. It is hard to imagine a less promising beginning to the story of the family of Jacob, the children of Israel. But God works to make a family. God does not just choose Joseph or just his brothers or just his father. God chooses them all. This story reminds us that somewhere between the best and the worst, the ups and the downs, the good and the bad, is an unseen work that has yet to be told. Let's pray. Dear God, help us remember that you can use our lives for good no matter the loss. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining this morning, and I hope to meet you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.